I almost got enough prayer beads. Can I join them? Does this count? Oh god, I can go into this? Ugh. Oh, nasty. I'm surprised it's not poisoning me. <laughs> Dolphin! <laughs> I'm no longer the wolf. Call <laughs> me Dolphin. Yay! wall jump there in those corners hmm I thought I tried it on a corner and it didn't work with corners but let's try it oh. I thought there were like close quarters enough that you could have wall jump but you not yeah I think it's got to be opposite walls but yeah I totally forgot that's even a thing I gotta keep a lookout for that because there's probably secrets you can access using it Like here? Is this possibly such a uh, secret? No. Maybe later on. There's no way to go up right now. Wait, what the heck? What? How do I get out of here? Yeah, you can. There we go. Whew. Hard to get. There's got to be some point to everything down there, right? Yeah, maybe later. Yeah. Or maybe it's just like you don't die when you like drop down. Yeah. Aren't you gonna try going to the other branch? That branch over there? Hint, hint. Armor might come off. How would you remove the armor? Maybe like with the axe? Yeah, I imagine so. I'm also just thinking, like, why was uh, Piercing's strong attack so much more effective than the Nightjar Slash? Do you think that different types of attacks actually, you know how like in Dark Souls there were like piercing attacks and actually distinct types of attacks? Yeah. Do you think that is the case here? Like this is a slash and then this is a prod and those are actually like different types of damage depending on the enemy? so, yeah. It's interesting. There's so much to explore. Oh, look at all the leaves in between. Aww. So cool. GG. 
Good game design. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, isn't is this where I think it is? Yeah. Wait. Yeah, yeah, that's the tower where you res rescued the the divine heiress. Yeah. Why why have we come back around? Huh. 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 Interesting. I wasn't expecting that at all. Oh, gatehouse key. Key to a samurai gatehouse located in the Ashina Reservoir, not far from the well the wolf was kept in. Here, Kyobu the demon... Kyobu the demon's broken horn is respectfully guarded by Ashina Samurai. The broken horn is the spear blade once wielded by Gyobu the demon. It's said that no prey can escape Gyobu's horn. It pulls enemies in and is even capable of stripping an enemy's armor. Maybe that's what I need to use? Yeah. Look at that, like, erosion over there. Yeah. Now it makes sense when I was like, ah, you're gonna get to that place later. In the beginning, you saw some loot, and you were like, how do I get there? And I was like, later. Oh, yeah. She was right. And by she, I mean me. She's me. I'm her. You are her. I mean, I could go down there right now, actually. And then I think I could get back up. Hmm. I don't know where I should go. I, I want to go everywhere. Oh. Whoa! Holy, Holy shit. shit! Yeah, okay. Bye. Just some trying to hang out with their dogs. I mean, I'm bothering them. <laughs> yeah! Really? What is that? Is it like a... Isn't it like an R? piece of armor? Yeah. It's like an armor piece for an entire arm. Is that how that works? Maybe. Now you're gonna see all the crappling po hook points that you couldn't see before. Right. You didn't have a crappling hook. Right. Where's this gonna take me? Please don't kill me. Yeah. I just mash the button. I'm like, things, attach. That's water, right? Yeah. Oh, damn it. Uh... Oh, the axe. Poisoned. Oh yeah, I just used the axe twice and it didn't break it. I guess maybe sometimes it takes multiple hits. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, antidote powder? Yeah. Yes. There we go. Took three axe swings. Damn. Better have been recording something good. You know? Look at you. <laughs> Heavy coin purse, that's 500 coin. And scrap iron, that's oh. very good.
What's that on the other side of the bridge? Oh, it's the blood from the people I killed above. Oh. It's, it's soaking through the floorboards. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Shit. water. Oh, I could just walk in it. Oh, hello. Balloon of Spirit. Uh, what does this one do? Balloon expresses mourning for the dearly departed. Red and white pinwheels are offered in fond remembrance. Blessing of Sympathy. So it's not like about loot or anything. Yeah. If one pops this oh, black oh, and white oh. balloon and prays... Oh, with the woman up there. Right? No, no. I think it gives you emblems. Oh, does it? I think so. It had like an emblem symbol on it. Okay, I also it also talked about using it to like pray, so I want to go try it next to the woman up there who said, "Do you want to pray with me?" Yeah, okay. That'll do anything, but F. How do I get back up exactly? Can you go to the other side through that? Yeah? And then like jump up on the bridge? No. Oh. Oh yeah, I remember this spot. Yeah, I remember climbing up there so I can get up to the bridge over there. Or go this way. Let's go to the bridge. Uh. Hmm. I think I should go this way. Mm. Crawl along the wall. Yeah. Can I get up from under here? Because I can't really... Yeah, you... You did that before. Or, oh, you might like it. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Yeah. A different kind of way. Oh, I think you can jump up from... Oh, never mind. Uh, hmm. Maybe you're just not supposed to get back up. Yeah. Maybe I do this. Yes. Okay, I'm going to try using the Mibu Balloon of Spirit, which says it uh, will have a higher chance of obtaining spirit emblems for a period of time. But I'm not going to take advantage of that. It's just, it says it's about expressing mourning, fond remembrance. Um, it mentioned blessing of sympathy. And this person here is asking me to pray with him. I doubt it's going to do anything. But let me just try to use it and see if it does anything with the person. Yeah, it worked. It actually did work. This is cool. And thank you. It's very nice. Yeah. They gave me a hard candy. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> that's, Grandma. That's exactly how old women are. Where do you think I should go? Like, uh, up the stairs, there's a bunch of people in a memory, or just should I go off to the side? It looks like it might be a boss up there, or something. Yeah. That feels like main way. Yeah, because all that other stuff down there is just going to be like, going through, again, places where you have been. Yeah. Oh, right, they're back. Oh, let's just go this way. A wall? Oh. Have I already found it, or is this a new discovery? Oh, new one. Hmm. Oh. No way.
That's right, it is an everyday occurrence. Every day on Marshall Dyer's YouTube channel at sometime PM. <laughs> Tune in. Oh no, that ah oh, fuck. Uh, I've got the wrong one equipped. I meant to have the firecrackers, but it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna rest. Redo. Redo. <laughs> You're not allowed to. No. I like you won't be able to. I'm sorry, puppy. God, I love deflecting. Redo. Oh, there's a wolf dying. Yeah, that was a weird dying sound. I thought it was like oh. a lizard or something. You have two skill points. Wow. Maybe you should spend them. Yes. Yeah, let's get the thing that increases spirit emblems, right? Yeah. Does it say how many? It doesn't say how many it's going to increase it by. Huh. Just as increases the max number. Well, let's hope it's good. Yeah. Should I do it, though, or should I look at something else? What else can I even get? I can get that, or Vault Over. Oh, that's the one that's like, what's the point? Yeah. Backstab death blows instead of a normal death blow? Uh, that, or the Ichimanji. The interesting Ashina art. Uh, let's go with the spirit emblems. So... Did it just increase it by one? Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. It can carry one more <laughs> spirit emblem. Wow, gee, thanks. I was expecting like five or ten more. Yeah, I <laughs> expected it to double. Well. Of big boys. <laughs> I'd like to imagine that one right there is wearing like a like a Hawaiian shirt on vacation, <laughs> just chilling. I know it's not, but from this distance, you can kind of pretend. Or more like they wish to be in Hawaii. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're in the snow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually, they gotta be cold, huh? Like that one over there is basically naked. Actually, I think it's completely naked. Let's that, let's give that little weeby a little chop chop. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get a backstab on one of the big ones. Grapple hit, yeah. Oh, that actually. Wait, was that a grapple hit? I didn't no, try except it I forgot. Wasn't. This is a grapple hit, except oh. it didn't even land. <laughs> Oh, fuck you. You gonna try to stab me? Good luck. Try it. Come on.
Someone just shot a projectile at you. Yeah, someone's trying to shoot at me. But who's in where? I think there's somewhere. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Yes, it actually kind of worked. Although it didn't seem to really do anything special. All oh, right, all right, all right. You're here, you're here. Yeah. Cool. Oh god, there's big boys running around. When you yeah. first go out here. Avoid that. Yeah. Yeah. My wife's a gamer. Hashtag gamer bride. <laughs> Did you say gamer pride or bride? Oh my god, both. Gamer bride, gamer pride. <laughs> All right, this is where I came from. I guess I should go. Should I go back there right now, or should I check out this place? Um, your choice. Let's go this way. Oh, I just did that. right. I got the slide thing. Did I even say that I got that on camera? I don't know. Well, I'll explain it in a second once I get this thing. Thank God we got it. <gasps> It has key. Oh, oh, it opens this. What's? Oh, oh. This, is, this is where the spear is. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah. So before anything else, at one point I had a skill, and I don't think I showed this on camera, but I got the slide crouch thing. Uh, it allows you to sprint. I actually haven't even tried it, so I think it allows you to sprint and then suddenly crouch. Yeah, like that. Slide into a crouch. So like, let's say if you wanted to hide under here, I think you could do like this. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure how terribly useful that is, but... We just got it because she had lost a shit ton of skill points, and we were just like, Oh my god, if we don't use this skill point right now, it's gonna disappear. Yeah, I figured I might as well spend it. Just one point. Heavy coin purse. Heavy like your conscience. <laughs> the broken horn famed horn spear once used by Yubu Masataka Oniwa affixed to the shinobi prosthetic to create a prosthetic tool oh it's a tool the horn contracts to pull enemies in also capable of stripping crude armor we know what boss fight that's good for yeah. when the horn was broken during the rebellion Ishin praised it for its splendid shape, awarding Oniwa with a cross-bladed spear of Shuzun Tamura. It's Kyobu, by the way. I think the you in Kyobu is like fooling you into pronouncing it as like Kyo Kyobu. Yeah, Kyobu. But usually when in Japanese it's like translated like that, usually the O-U Back to back are meant to pronounce as a uh, long O. Uh, so, Kyobu. 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 So, it's not like Kyobu. Kyobu? No. Kyobu. Yeah, Kyobu. Okay, Kyobu. All 
All right, let's go back now. Oh, might as well just do this. Who's that? の人材門と申す。堀回りの見回りを任ぜられております。うん。見かけの顔だが、伊豆子の組将か。明かせぬ。明かせぬとな。うん。さては忍び衆でござるか。明かせぬ。これはご無礼を忍び衆ならば。さもあろう。これ以上、小さいは聞きませぬぞ。うん。時に忍びとのこの辺りで三味線の音を聞いておられぬか。音をたどってきたところ、この井戸穴に行き当たったのでござる。There's somebody playing an instrument down there? Who? そうでござるか。忍び衆ならば、もしや心当たりかと思うだが。うん。あの調べは誰を呼んでおったのか。なぜだか無性に気にかかる。The fact that you can keep entering that dialogue makes me think maybe I can hear it at some point. Like, if I do something, I'll hear it and then can reply to them. Maybe. Anyway, that's where we came out of. That means, now that I'm going back here and have a grappling hook and all that stuff, I can probably get up to... Remember literally right where you started, if you went backwards into the water, there was a thing that looked like... Like there was stuff up above, but I couldn't jump up to it? Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we should be able to get there now. I didn't realize you were talking to me, because I actually literally just earlier reminded you of that loot. You did? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Who's that? Who's? Oh. Uh, hmm. Well, might as well get a freebie, huh? Or should you go rest first? I'm wondering if I should even go this direction. Right now. Is that where I'm supposed to go? I don't want to go where I'm supposed to go. Please somebody tell me where I'm not supposed to go. <laughs> I actually meant to go over here, but I stopped after I went into here, so... Yeah. Let's just cancel that and go here. Yeah. Oh god, who are you? Are they facing me? Oh, shit. Nasbeki Koto Nasa. So he got 
Oh man, they take a couple as well. Are you gonna go heal or are you gonna face him like a like a man? No, I'm gonna face him like a woman. Which is exactly the same as like a man. Wow. Hashtag feminism. Yeah. Let's go for it. Oh god, listen to him breathe. I thought that was them breathing. I don't hear it anymore. They're not the There it is. <laughs> heavy breathing. They're not the one with the heavy armor that I need to pull off, right? No. Oh, spear, huh? Damn, I just did the, uh... The thing, and it hurt their posture, but not very much. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. They should fuck Shinobi. Dear God. Yeah, holy shit. Shit, I need to hurt them. I have to, otherwise I'm never going to be able to actually get them down. So I think there's a lot of, like, I don't know, expert shinobi hunters around this place or something. Yeah. I don't know if they're actually shinobi hunters, but... Yeah. Oh, man, I just lost a lot of coin. Oh, you should go to the temple and get the thing fit into your prosthetic. Oh, yes. Loaded spear? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unleash far-reaching thrust attacks. Lighter enemies struck by the spear may be dragged towards the wielder. Those of large build will at times force themselves into poorly fitting armor. Such armor could be torn clean off. Right trigger to do a frontward thrust. Right trigger and then right trigger again to do a drag. Pull an enemy struck by the spear back towards you. Can also tear poorly fitting armor from heavier foes. Hmm. Oh, do I have enough stuff to do an upgrade? Oh, that one's already acquired. I need more gunpowder. Locked. Uh, I could do this one. Spinning shuriken. What does that do? An enhanced shuriken that can be empowered with rotational energy. Damage an enemy's vitality and posture and does huge damage to jumping enemies. Taking a moment to further bend the spring and build rotational energy will cause the blade to rotate after landing. Damaging the enemy multiple times on hit. Similar to a spinning top, but with blades. So hold right trigger for a spinning shuriken throw. Yeah, I have to charge it just like with the uh, the firecrackers. Hits the enemy multiple times. Interesting. Well, I think I have to get it. Like, if you look at the tree, like I have to get this before I can get a bunch of other things. Like these other things. So I might as well just get it. And then I need to specifically equip it. Um, I'll get rid of the flame tool for now. Oh. Yeah, do I want to put the shuriken on my bar? I definitely want to put the loaded spear. Hmm. Yeah, I'll put the spinning shuriken as well. I mean, I could always change these out in the middle of battle if I wanted to. Yeah. It's good to at least try them out. Yeah. Oh, let's go test out the uh, spear thing on my buddy over here. Man, there's nothing ever in those boxes, are there? Yeah, it never glows. Oh yeah, it brought them to me. 
Check this out. Oh. And it uses... Oh, does it just use one spirit emblem? Nice. Yeah, just one. Good for just general damage, too. Like, I'm not sure if I'd want to bring the enemy towards me. Is there some advantage to that? I can't imagine, no. Like, it doesn't seem to really stun them. Alright, let's try this enemy again. This time I did not clear out all the enemies down there, so I'm going to try to bring them around the side here so that nobody else sees. I was going to try to rip off their armor if I can. The spear thing. A decent amount of vitality damage. You want to come down here? Oh god. <laughs> it's been really just. Well, if you're just going to do that, then uh, I'll try out the spinning shuriken. Oh god. Oh, I didn't want to bring him towards me. Fuck. So powerful. Alright, let's try again. I'm gonna try setting them on fire this time after the initial hit, of course. They are on fire. That they are. It's not exactly doing a huge amount of damage to their vitality, but it's something. Sometimes you just need something. Jesus! Let's try again. Uh, don't have any particular plan. Let's try to take a uh, sugar. Yeah. Reduce vitality damage. Yeah. Fuck off. Come on. Fuck. Leave me alone. I need to heal. Oh, fuck. I thought that was a stab, but it wasn't. <laughs> G. 
Jesus. Powerful. And I managed to actually avoid a lot of it, but still, man, they're fucking... Tank. They're... Their uh, posture. Their posture is incredible. And it's really hard to take down their vitality. Yeah. Let's try again. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, keep doing that, please. This is actually going really well. This is going really well. Uh -huh. Well, it was going well, but now I lost all my posture, actually. Man, I gotta like seriously keep the pressure up. Alright, here we go. So there's a skill that I can get with three skill points called Shinobi Eyes that increases the posture damage I do with Makiri Counter. So I'm going to wait till I have that before I come back to that other enemy. Let's try this one down the well. They look very small, probably a faster kind of enemy. Low and Shadow Long Swordsman. Yeah, they're like an assassin type. Oh, Jesus. They just killed me by kicking me in the face. Wow. They're damn fast. All these enemies are so hard. Should I not be here? Let's try this again. Great. I mean, it's pointless. Yeah, there's no point. Will they return to their position down here? If so, then I could use that to double back, like double, you know, fall on their head. That would be cheap though. But let's see if they go back. Yeah, I don't think they're going back. Probably to avoid exactly that situation. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So yeah, I'm not going to go back to those two bosses until more time has passed and I've gotten better equipment and better skills and stuff. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I guess, well, hmm, I'm either going to go forwards here or actually, I think I might go down there, uh, down over there where we went through that, like, shaft leading out to where, uh, the air was taken. Or we lost our arm. Oh. There's probably just another boss there, though. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, gonna do that and then also head up here, which I think is kind of like the main pathway to go.